A church in Jerusalem, believed by Christians to be the site where Jesus was crucified, buried, and resurrected, has closed its doors amid disputes with Israeli leaders. In a move the Washington Post calls unprecedented, the Church of the Holy Sepulcher bolted its doors Sunday. It's partly in response to a local municipality claiming the church owes it more than $185 million for commercial activities performed on the property. It also follows the introduction of a bill that would allow Israel to take control of certain church properties leased out to private companies. Church leaders are calling the bill discriminatory and say it seems to be an attempt to weaken the Christian presence in Jerusalem. In a joint statement, Greek Orthodox, Catholic, and Armenian church leaders said Israel is waging a systematic campaign against churches and the Christian community in the Holy Land in flagrant violation of the existing status quo. Brothers and sisters, this is this is this is amazing news right here. This is uh, part of the battle that is um, just about to happen, I believe, uh, with the moving of the uh, the American embassy from Tel Aviv to uh, Jerusalem, the recognition of Jerusalem as the undivided capital uh, of Israel, and. I think what we're seeing is the beginning of the start of the time of Jacob's trouble. Uh, for sure, this is a problem, and notice it's a financial one, right? It has something to do with finances, and if you don't pay, then you can't have the right to, you know, to keep your your church open, so to speak. All right. So it also kind of identifies with uh, the spiritual connection with the doors closing. Brothers and sisters, now is the time. We're at the end. The Jubilee is coming to an end. Uh, Purim, we're literally on the, on the edge of, of Purim. Purim happens this week, sundown on the 28th of February. And so remember what Purim was all about. Because of Esther, there was no Holocaust. All right? Now, I, of course, don't desire to have any kind of... Uh, a uh, uh, mass uh, uh, holocaust, you see. We, no one wants this to come. But the judgment of God is coming, and there will be, so to speak, a holocaust. All right? And probably not just the area that we're looking at in Jerusalem. All right? But um, God says that he will protect those that go through the time of, of Jacob's trouble which has everything to do with Jeremiah 30, verse 7, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. And it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be, rem he shall be saved out of it. All right? So that's not the, 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 the church of... Um, not, it's not the church of Philadelphia. So the church of Philadelphia is the church that we belong to, the one that will be uh, taken from the time that will come upon the whole earth, all right, and all those dwelling upon the earth. So just, just keep in mind and do your studies, but look specifically to the words that were uh, in, in Genesis 6-3, which is a promise of God, no matter which way you turn it. That's a promise of God. God promised that we have. We, that his spirit would only strive with mankind for 120. And that 120 only works out, can only be worked out times 50. And there we are. It's just what I said in my last video. So we're at the end of the 6,000 years. We're seeing it. We're on the very verge of the rapture. Okay, will the rapture happen? Will the queen leave at this time? Or the the Bride of Christ connecting to the story of Esther on Purim? Will we be gone at the end of this week? March 1st through the 3rd? Okay, depends on what calendar you're looking at. But remember, God's not going by a particular calendar. I don't believe, you know, he can give us indication of the time without being uh, perfectly on the date. That would just set it to be what we think uh, a, per, a particular date is it could it could miss on one calendar and hit on the other calendar 
So, heads up, brothers and sisters. The Lord is coming. God bless you. Brother John, watch me for that great day. I'm not blowing the trumpet today, but uh, I just want you to know this. So, heads up for this message. God bless you. Bye.